the Maori people had many singing games and chants which they used every day. When the Europeans came to New Zealand, English hymns and songs were often adapted to these chants which accompanied the rhythmic dances. This is a dance performed with balls, called poise, made of a swamp grass. Because these are on long cords, this dance is a long poi. Its performance is only perfected with many hours of practice. And there are few Māori girls who can perform a poi as difficult as the one you see here, being staged for tourists in the reproduction of an old-time village at Rotorua. near Rotorua was the scene of a great eruption. On the night of June the 10th, 1886, the whole top of the adjacent mountain blew out. The inhabitants of three villages watched terrified as they were literally buried in a shower of hot ash and rock. Far greater than any atomic explosion, this great gash in the mountaintop shows the origin of the debris that buried miles of countryside. Today, one of the buried villages has been partly excavated, and parties of tourists are shown the relics of the small community as they were abandoned on that fearful night. The blacksmith shop still has its tools of trade, and in this native hut lived the Tohunga, or Maori priest, who had foretold the eruption three days before. For this piece of foresight, his people credited him with causing the earth-shaking explosion and refused to dig him out. He lay buried for five days until he was rescued by some Europeans. Here are the fireballs blown miles through the air. Volcanic debris, old kitchen utensils and Maori carving were all one in the confusion of the disaster. An excavated Maori storehouse has a special interest, as it is one of the very rare examples of Maori carving in stone. The village bakery still had loaves of bread in it when excavated, and it is said that the wine cellar of the hotel still lies buried. At any rate, whatever the incentive, digging still goes on, and pieces of Victorian china and household articles are often unearthed. There is always an urge to find what else still lies hidden, to bring to light the world of our grandfathers. Even the dog feels like doing some digging, and he finds a small bottle to add to the collection. Some of the relics preserved for tourists to view are partly calcified by the volcanic dust, and so a ham and a child's toy dog are almost fossilized. A pot of face cream reminds us of a previous time when a queen ruled England. And an old bowler hat is now truly a hard hitter and a reminder of this community when time stopped for it on that one fateful night nearly 70 years ago.